Okay, back to my uh, control panel. I've got the uh, macros written now, or some macro loop, so it's running all the time, and checking what I've got on there. Um, I can select the manual pulse generator. I either use as continuous or MPG multi, which is <coughs> these two, MPG multi or continuous. And when I press the button on the panel, you can see it swap over from continuous to MPG multi, just locks in place on either one, so it's a toggle. Um, <clears throat> I've got the button so it reports back what it's seeing on the screen. So if I press it, it switches off, and that's now on continuous. So um, the MPG, manual pulse generator, does, doesn't work, um, but it allows the jog keys to work. When I press this on, it switches the jog keys off and turns it to the uh, manual pulse generator. I can select then uh, times one time, or these should be divide. So times one is one millimeter per click on the wheel. Times 10 is 10 clicks per on the wheel. And times 100 is 100 clicks per millimeter on the wheel. So I can just select those. Normally they're on um, a rotary switch, but uh, I just find it easier to be able to bang it on the screen and switch over. <clears throat> also, I can. Uh, I'll show you that on the screen where you've got um, times one, times ten, and times a hundred. And the same if I change it on the screen, you'll see that the LEDs will change on the panel straight away to tell you what uh, what steps you're in. So that's quite a nice feature. Um, continuous, turn that off, and MPG multi back on. Um, I've also got the same on the for where, whichever axis I want. So if I'm on X axis, Y axis, Z axis, or A axis, it'll tell me um, on the buttons. And if you look at the screen, when I press the buttons, I press the X button, it switches to X, Y, Z, or channel A. Um, so that all seems to be working very nicely. I've also got, I'm using buttons one to eight. Uh, these will be able to be able to do any function. At the moment I've got them, so it's being seen in UCNC and reporting back just by giving a quick light on it. So everyone, when they press, to show it's being seen by UCNC and the button's being reported back. But these can fire off um, any number of macros, etc. Uh, <clears throat> I've also got a feed hold button, which I've done as a toggle. Press it once for on, press it again, and it goes off. And it's actually looking at the screen itself for the lights. So you've got a feed hold on the screen, and if I press the feed hold button on the screen, you've got the LED flashing, so it's in feed hold. And the feed hold light will light up. Something I quite often overlook. Um, if the machine's not running for any reason, it's because the feed holds in. Switch the feed holds on and off on the screen, or on and off on the button, which we toggle it. So that's actually turning the button on on the screen. Then I've got start and stop. Uh, again, if it's in cycle start, cycle start light will come on. And if we're stopped, the stop light will come on. Um, obviously, the stop also cancels feed hold. So if the uh, program is running, we've got the one light on. And if we've got it not running, the stop light's on. Um, obviously, I can cycle start a program. Program's now running on the screen. You can see the DRO running away there. If I press the stop button, it stops. If I press the start button again, it starts. If I press feed hold, it should feed hold. So that's all running nicely. Um, just the analogues to do now. All in all, pretty stoked with that.